With every film we've made, we've always learned something new. This could be a tip, trick, hack, or just a piece of advice that we did not know. In this video, we're going to share 100 filmmaking tips, tricks, and hacks in under 10 minutes. Welcome to the Film Look. Thanks to Premium Beat for providing the music in this episode. We recommend you check them out whenever you need a great track for your film. Visit their royalty free library to see what we mean. We've added a link in the description below. Let's get straight into it. Add labels with the size of lens to each of your lens caps. It makes it easier to find them in your bag. Can't draw? Take photographs and use them as storyboards. Never place the microphone on the hot shoe of your camera if you are recording dialogue. Buy a 3.5mm extension cable so you can still plug it into your camera and get it closer to your actor. If you have a flip out screen on your camera, create a little tab out of tape to make it easier to flip out. Use white baking paper as cheap diffusion paper. If you are making DIY equipment or doing hacks to it, make it look as professional as possible. You don't want to turn up on set with something that looks janky. Add velcro to a whiteboard pen and your clapperboard so you always have a place to store the pen. Ask personal questions to your actor whilst they are in character to get to know about your character's backstory. This is called hot sealing. Number your batteries so you know how many you've used and have left. Get your actor to say their dialogue at their highest level when performing. Then set your levels so you aren't peaking. A 5-in-1 reflector has a 6 use. You can use the cover to wrap around a hanging light to flag the light off the walls and focus the light downwards. Print off a small shot list and clip it to your belt. It will not get in the way and it will save you time as you always have a shot list next to you. Play music on set to help people get into the role, especially for your actors. Shoot at a higher f-stop. It's better to have your shot in focus than a shallow depth of field. Get your actor to perform the action and dialogue that is a couple of lines before the shot you are shooting. This will give them momentum and lead them into the shot. Watch lots of films. Watch short films. Add LED lights to your camera bag. Go to the Film Riot YouTube channel, click sort by, oldest date added and watch all of their videos. And make notes. Use a headphone splitter so two people can listen during recording and playback. When your character slash actor sits down, the drama sits down. So have them doing something in the scene. It's boring just watching two people standing or sitting talking to each other. Spend time organizing your files before you start to edit. You'll thank yourself later. When you have the first draft of your edit complete, don't look at it for a week. Show it to others and ask for feedback. Work on other people's short films. You'll learn a lot more than just watching videos. Take a notepad and pen with you and make notes about the shoot. Don't be on your phone. You don't need to be checking Facebook and Instagram when you're making your film. Ask before you take a set photograph for your social media. The production team might want a close set. Have someone on set taking behind the scenes photos. These are nice to have for promotional and portfolio material. Learn the rules of filmmaking before you break them. And if you do break them, do it for a good reason because if you don't get it right, people will know. Some audio recorders have a dual record mode. One can be set lower just in case your audio does peak. If you are the sound recordist and the audio does peak or there's an external noise that can be heard while shooting, don't shout cut as you still might be able to use some of that take. But once cut has been called, say you're not happy with the take, it's better to record it again than try to fix it in post. Don't struggle to reach a light up high which is on a stand. Lower it, adjust it and raise the bag up. Use a frosted shower curtain to create a large diffused light source. If you need your actor to be out of breath, make them go for a jog as you can't fake out of breath. Make a playlist for each of your characters to help them get into the role of the character. Get people to read your script. Learn to take feedback. Ask questions to those who read your script. Is the dialogue okay or the actions clear? This will invite them to give you feedback. If someone says martini shot on set, it means it's the final shot setup of the day. If your actor stumbles over a line, just keep rolling and go back a couple of lines. Cutting will break the flow and waste time. If you forget to mark the start of the take or the clapperboard could not be in shot, make sure you clap at the end of the take which is called second sticks. If you notice the take wasn't marked, make everyone aware before the camera and sound is cut. Add neoprene pads to the bottom of shoes and objects to deaden the sound they make. Place a CD, piece of plastic, torch, glass or anything with a reflective surface in front of your lens to add weird lens flares to your image. But use them for a reason to help tell your story, not just because they look cool. Make films. Whilst we're on the subject, learn to trust others to help make your films. People will be willing to help. Preline your script so you know exactly when to start and finish covering the shot. Add a date to your camera battery so you know how long you've had them. The type of equipment you shoot on does not matter, but it also does depending on the type of film you are making. Learn how to use new equipment before you get on set. If you have to learn it while you're shooting, it's an unnecessary stress you do not need. Work with the camera team to find out how low you can boom before you dip into shot. And don't get your microphone in shot, I'm counting this as a tip. Get a slider. Don't overuse slider shots. Use the movement to help tell a better story and not just because it looks cool. 
Make a movie poster for each of your short films. Print it out and put it on your wall to help remind you of what you have achieved. Always have a few coins in your bag for tripod plate screws. Or buy a flat headed screwdriver which stays in your bag and is just for tripod plate screws. Make sure your microphone is no more than three feet away from your subject. Have your camera slate in the shot before the camera starts to roll. This means the first frame will have all of the information about the shot. It will save you time in the edit when syncing up. Freesound.org has thousands of free sound effects and foley. They have everything from someone eating the apple to gunshots. When you're packing your equipment for your film, test your camera, turn on every light, test the extension cables, microphones, audio cables, make sure all your batteries are charged. Basically, test everything before the shoot. You can never have too many extension cables. A tripod can be called legs or sticks. If you have to adjust your tripod legs to make your camera level, buy one of these newer leveling bases. You'll wonder how you lived without one. Buy old prime lenses. They are cheaper, sometimes sharper, and give you different characteristics you will not find in a new lens. Try taking a couple of frames off the start and end of each shot. It may work well to tighten up your edit. Before editing audio, play your favourite song and adjust your volume to a comfortable level. Make a note and always monitor your audio at this level. Your dialogue should lie between minus 6 and minus 24 decibels. Condense your shot list. Find a way to join shots together with pans and tilts. Movement is always more cinematic than cuts. Before the shoot, sit down with your cast and crew and go through the entire plan so everyone's on the same page. At the end of a shoot, once all of the equipment is out of the location, go back and do one last check. When you're handing someone a piece of equipment, don't let go until they say hands on, and then you can say hands off. Safety is key on set. Before you turn on a light, shout lights going hot. This will give people a warning and time to avert their eyes. Get a small LED torch like this one. It can fit in your pocket and they only cost around £3. You won't believe how handy these are. You can use bungee cords to stop light stands and tripods from falling over when stored. Remember, achieving the film look is not about camera settings, fancy shots and the look you apply to your footage. It's everything you see in the frame. Props, costumes, acting, locations, everything. You don't always have to shoot using a flat profile like s 2 or 3. Learn how to shoot on other profiles as well. It will save you time if the project needs to be turned around faster or if you don't have a lot of experience colour grading. Have brightly coloured audio cables. You can see them on the floor and if they drop in a frame. If your actor is performing an action whilst delivering dialogue, try to minimise the noise of the action so it doesn't infect the dialogue. Don't have a shoulder rig? Use a tripod. Unclip the bottom tripod leg first. It will be much easier to access the next set of legs as they will be in the middle of the tripod and not at the bottom. If you have a plastic lightweight tripod, do it the other way. Feed your cast and crew. A fishing seat box trolley is a cheap way to move your equipment around. Watch your film and make a list of all of the sounds you should be hearing. Clothes rustling, chairs creaking, cups clinking on the table. Fill your sound space. Hot swap between your film and your favourite movie when mixing audio. Your audio should be at a similar level. You'll know if it sounds too loud or too quiet. Understand people will not turn up or drop you in it at the last minute. Before your final export, watch your film on a phone, tablet and a TV to see what it looks like. Every device will look different. Also listen to your film on a phone, tablet and TV with cheap headphones and studio monitors if you can. Can you hear all of the sounds on each device? If not, try making changes and listen again. Clip a script and a shot list to the back of your clapper board. This works great if your clapper loader and your first AD are the same person. Recording clean dialogue is your highest priority. Don't worry about recording fully yet, you can record all of that later if you need. If you cannot apply aspect ratio bars to your camera or monitor, work out where they will be and stick a piece of card to your monitor or your camera. Spray paint your lens caps orange, they're much easier to find. When you rip off a piece of tape, leave a little tab on the roll so it's easier to get the next piece of tape. Making films is the coolest thing, so remember, have fun. Here are a few bonus tips. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one. And if your camera keeps running out of power on location, then check out the video of how to upgrade your camera battery. And let us know any of your filmmaking tips in the comments below.